Hello and welcome back to SQL Explorer or SQL Explorer. Now we've got some cool stuff going on in here, you know, kind of breaking it up into sections where you can build your query in a wizard-like way, but we really are just uh, scratching the surface of things you can do in SQL. And one of the nice things is that, you know, even if we don't give you the tools to build your query, we still give you a nice sandbox to play around with it. And maybe the tools that we've provided will get you halfway there, and then you can run with it on your own. For example, I'm going to go ahead and change the fields here. And let's just go with company ID. And then I'm going to manually get rid of this whole sort thing. And then I'm just going to go in here and manually type something like this. And then let's run that. And we see we get a result. So there's other stuff you can do with SQL, uh, you know, including aggregate functions, subqueries. Um, we're, we're doing a lot of uh, cool stuff here, but a lot of other stuff. And the nice thing is, is we're going to honor whatever you've done on your own here as well in the uh, copy as calculation. So if we come in here to our data viewer, you know, we'll get that query that you built with the count or whatever you do manually and you can run it uh, from your scripts and your calculations as well. So this is really just a jumping off point. Uh, we certainly envision doing more with SQL and the SQL Explorer, um, but don't be limited by the tools that we've provided here. Um, feel free to go crazy in here and, uh, and do whatever uh, you want. And remember, that's another nice thing about this is that you know, you're not getting into schema really directly. Um, this is all at the UI surface level, not affecting any data, so you really can be fearless, which is a, another real benefit of using Execute SQL. So thanks very much.